Hi, this is Susie Oliver with TCC. Today we're going to do the intro uh, to programming game one, uh, the guessing game. There's an attached program. It will play the guessing game where the computer generates a random number. The user guesses a number from 1 to 20 and the program states whether the generated number is higher or lower or whether the user has guessed it. You'll take the attached program and make changes to it that will make it more efficient. Okay, the purpose of this is to be able to read another person's code, to modify another person's code, uh, to finish a game program, and to compare a game program to the earlier programs you've written. Be sure and copy this code and put it in your program. Instructions. Download the attached starter program. Here it is, intro game one. Right click on that. Save link as. Store it somewhere. I'm going to put it in downloads. Show in folder, right click on it, open with, I'm going to open it with WordPad, and then copy the whole thing, okay, I did control A and control C, file, new project, Oliver Susie, Game one, create this window, right click, new Python file, Oliver Susie game one, and I'm going to paste that in, I'm going to get the comments copy those and paste those here and get rid of a couple of those lines okay the reason this is underscored I mean has the yellow squiggles is because I'm using camel case and Python doesn't like a pie charm doesn't like that very well and also doesn't like a comma without a space I'll go ahead and fix that but it's okay to have camel case. Okay, so we downloaded the attached starter program. We put the usual comment block at the top. Now we need to run the program to see it in action and then we're going to examine the code to see what makes the program work. Input a number. Now, first of all, it doesn't say what number it's supposed to be. I know from reading the instructions it's supposed to be up to 20. So let's go ahead and choose halfway in between and say 10. Number is lower. So we'll say 5. Number's lower. 2. Perfect. You got it in three guesses. Press enter to close the program. Now we're supposed to examine the code to see what makes it work. So let's lower that and let's close the project area. Okay, we import random okay this allows for random number generation and in main notice we're not calling any other functions except what's in random we're setting guesses to zero that's the number of guesses and we call a variable random we could call it anything we want as long as it's a legal variable name random dot rand int now you have to say random because that's the name of the package and rand int is the name of the function and it's going to get return a an integer between 1 and 20 inclusive. Okay, while guesses less than 6, please input a number. We really should have a space there. My guess equal input and my guess equal int of my guess. Well, you can already see a, an improvement there, right? We can do all that in one line. Guesses equal guesses plus 1. We can do something a little bit more concise there too with our plus equal. If my guess is less than random, print number is higher. If my guess is greater than random, print number is lower. If my guess is equal to random, we're going to break out of this while loop. Okay, again, there's a, a more efficient way of doing that because if this is already true, it's checking this again. And if this is true, this can't be true. So there's something we should do about that. We'll go over that in a minute. Now, outside the loop. If my guess is equal to random, 
We print perfect. You got it in so many guesses. If my guess is not equal to random, print try again. These are mutually exclusive also, so those look like an if else sort of statement. And then here we call main and then input, please enter, press enter to close the program. PyCharm likes there to be a blank line at the end. Make all if statements more efficient by using elif and else whenever appropriate. Test immediately after you do each one to make sure you didn't break the code. So don't fix it all and then test it. Just fix one thing at a time. If my guess less than random, if it's greater than random, and if it's equal to random, those are mutually exclusive. So I should say L if there. And here, if it's not less than and it's not greater than, it has to be equal to. So here, I can get rid of that and just say else. Okay. And I might put a comma in here and say um, they are equal. And put a number, 10, numbers higher, 15, numbers higher, 17, numbers higher, 18, numbers higher, 19, numbers higher, must be 20. Okay, so it still works. Now let's fix this other one. Change that to an else because my guess equal equal random and not equal random are mutually exclusive. So we can just say else there. I'm going to get rid of that blank line. Let's test that and make sure it works. 10, higher, 15. Hey, we got it. Okay, so that works. Number six, combine the three lines immediately following the while, while statement into one line of code. Three lines after the while, these. We can say my guess equals input of this. Okay, so we can do all. Move that. Command X. Paste. There we go. Get rid of that. Okay, and I already added a space there. Now, there's one other thing we can do with this. We can go ahead and turn it into an int. So we can say int paren there, close paren there, and then get rid of that line. Okay, let's try that. Stop it, run it again, and put a number 10, numbers lower, 5. Perfect, we got it. Okay, so that still works. 7. Change all print statements that concatenate strings so that they use conversion specifiers instead. I'll make that or f strings. Or better yet, f strings. Here we got it. Here's our concatenation. We need to fix that. Let's make that an F string. And then put braces around it. And we really ought to make, put some, put an exclamation point or something there. Okay, let's try that. Ten. Numbers higher. Fifteen. Numbers lower. Twelve. Numbers higher. Thirteen. Numbers higher. Fourteen. Perfect. You got it in five guesses. After the user guesses the number, ask the user if they want to play again, and do so if they indicate that they do. You'll need to put most of the existing code inside a loop. We're going to need the guess is equal to zero because we've got to reset the number of guesses each time. We're going to have to do that. We've got to have the while loop. We do need to do this. So all of that needs to go into a loop. while. And then we need to figure out what needs to go in that while. We'll fix that in a second. And then all of this needs to be moved over. Now, exactly what do we need to test and when do we need to test it? Usually you would uh, read first and then test that up here to see if it's like zero or something tell them to enter zero if they want to quit. Okay, so we need to create some sort of sentinel. So we could say play again 
equal the very first time we want it to be uh, yes so we're going to say say y so we're going to say while play again and then we want to see if it's y or yes or begins with a y so we could say play again change it to a lowercase just in case and then get the first character from that zero with subscript and if that's a y we're going to continue okay now so the very first time that is going to be a y now this way it should work if they give us yes or y or uppercase y or uppercase yes it should work for any of those however we've got to read play again and we'll do that at the bottom of the loop so here we're going to say play again equal input do you want to play again yes Now, if they, we're not going to tell them, or you can do it with uppercase or whatever. We're just going to, to allow for that. Okay, we're not going to tell them we're allowing for it. Sometimes too much information is not good for the user. Actually, it might be better just to do that. But the way we've done it, if they type in yes or no, it'll still work. Okay, so let's try that. We're going to start off testing with just Y and N. Input a number, 10. Numbers lower, 5. Numbers lower, 2. Okay, we got it. You want to play again? Yes. That worked. From 10. Higher, so 15. Lower, try 12. Lower, 11. Okay, uh, now let's try yes and see if that works. Hey, it does. 10. Numbers lower, 5. Okay, let's try capital yes. Hey, that works too. So all the yeses seem to work. Please input a number. 10. Hey, we got it first time. Do you want to play again? No. Okay. So that looks like that's working. Okay. If you have any questions, please send me an email. It would be a good idea to text me as well.